Let's assume that you've done that and created a few bills of the mobile app. You can upload those bills to the service and then choose to distribute the bills to various testers for testing purposes. You can distribute the build to some or all of your official test team and you can add additional users for the app to be distributed to just by entering in their email address. Add a useful message and click distribute. Now let's look at what the tester sees on their mobile device. When you distribute the app to them, they'll get an email message telling them the latest build is available. In that email is the additional informational message that you sent when you distributed the app and a link to the download page for the app. Tap on the install button and confirm that you really want to install the app. You'll see the typical download and install activity for a mobile application on your device. Once installed, tap on the application icon to start the app. The first thing you'll see is the Mobile Quality Assurance login page for the tester. Once the tester identifies themselves, you're taken directly to the regular front page of the mobile application. The tester can shake the phone to submit a bug and annotate the screen capture with their fingers. Once done with the screen capture, add additional text to describe the problem and submit the report. One more thing we'll do in the sample app in the demo is simulate a crash so crash log data can be sent back to the service and you can see that as well. Now we'll leave the tester's mobile device and go back to the web page for the mobile quality assurance services and see the information that's been collected off of the tester's device. You can see the bug report that I just submitted a moment ago and drill down into it to get all of the details about the state of the application and the device on which it was running at the time of the bug report. There's lots of information captured, including the device type, the network, even the battery and carrier information to help the developer determine the context of the application at the time the bug occurred. Now let's look at the crash reports for this application, including the one that I just created a few minutes ago. Note that the service correlates identical application crashes and tells you how many times the identical crash occurred within your application. There's a short version of the crash data and a much more detailed view. Finally, let's look at some statistics about this mobile app. You can see that the bug reports and crashes are grouped by build so you can see which builds have more problems than others. And you can even see the device types that have been used to execute tests and submit data, as well as the operating systems that were running on those devices. Well, there you have it, a quick tour of IBM's Mobile Quality Assurance Services. I hope you found this video useful in getting to know the services, and now it's up to you to try them on your own mobile application.